Hello and welcome back to our video series where Niall and I sit down to discuss different topics around cloud and the HPC industries. So today we are going to be talking about meta scheduling. So Niall, do you want to start us off by giving us a description about what meta scheduling actually is? Sure. So meta scheduling in the yellow dog uh, context really means that the yellow dog scheduler is responsible for orchestrating and managing um, third party schedulers. So effectively, what we get really is the uh, the yellow dog scheduler becomes a coarse grain scheduler, takes a, a very, very big and coarse job and then hands off the actual fine grain scheduling to a third party scheduler on a cluster that yellow dog actually provisions. OK, so how does it actually work? So what we do is that the yellow dog scheduler is now able to um, to basically apply what we would call standard actions like read a file, uh, run a command and so on to, to nodes. And those particular nodes are those that are running in the cloud or running on premise. And it, you can set nodes to have very specific content and scripting. And the way we do it is we, we talk about node actions and node events, and we can distribute those actions, you know, which again are the read file or run a command at various different uh, lifecycle events throughout the, the life of, of a cluster. And the, the application of these actions and events can be either done via our Java or Python SDK or third party uh, applications su such as Ansible. So effectively the scheduler becomes responsible for the orchestration and management of the, uh, of the, the cluster you want to create. We can also use those node actions for things such as creation of file servers or DNS servers. But throughout the life of the cluster that you have, you know, whether that's running a when that's running a third party cluster, you can scale up the nodes that are available in that cluster up and down. And then once your job is complete uh, and has been uh, managed and done by the third party scheduler, you can effectively now discard that uh, particular cluster once it's done. Okay, brilliant. And why do we have, given that we've got our own workload scheduler being the LDO scheduler, why do we enable integration with third party tools? We really want to open up the use of the scheduler to, um, to the tools that customers are used to using. Um, so for example, if you do have, uh, let's just take some Slurm workloads, um, and you're happy with the way that those work, you can still use Yellow Dog to actually provision the cluster on which that particular workload should run. But the key thing is that it opens up the, 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 the creation of these particular clusters to the underlying provision strategies that we provide so that you can build these repeatable infrastructures, uh, regardless of where you are in terms of the provider you use or the regions that you use, so that you, you, you get this whole repeatable thing um, using the tools that, that, that you're really used to using. And, that, and that, that's the key thing we, we, we want to open up to customers. Okay, so are there any other benefits that users will get from meta scheduling? Yeah, I think the, the, the key thing really with meta scheduling and, you know, even using the yellow dog scheduler is that this all now be, ha, can happen in a single place. Um, and there is no... Um, there's there's no requirement to really to look elsewhere for you know do I have a cluster running up on this particular cloud provider or this particular region and it really allows people to see everything in one place and build up kind of those repeatable infrastructures as I mentioned above but doing them cost effectively because now you're looking at everything holistically rather than looking at uh, individual clusters as silos amongst the the cloud providers, or even just down to the regions that you're actually using. So really provide that, that, that single view on, on, on what you're using and to, 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 to be able to really look at the, 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 the costs of, of doing those or of building up those clusters very much in real time using the usage service within the Yellowdog platform. Okay, yeah, that sounds really significant in terms of how much time it would save people as well as money. So thanks now for giving us that introduction. If you'd like to see any more of our videos, please head to our website. They're also on our social media channels. And as always, if you'd like to get in touch with us to ask any questions, give us any feedback, please feel free to. Thanks now.